Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to prove if a point lies on the line. So if you have the vector equation of the line and if you're given a point, I'm going to show you a method in order to prove if that point lies on your line. Okay, so let's call this proving if a point lies on a line line. So let me underline that in red. So I hope you can see that. So um, if you're given the vector equation, so if you're given the vector equation of the line, okay, and if you're also given and so given the vector equation of the line and a point, okay, so point in the form A, B, C, so in other words, a coordinate, okay? So here's the method to prove if that point lies on the line. So let's underline that. So step number one, step number one is to write down your vector equation of the line um, in parametric form, so write down the vector equation of a line in parametric form, but in particular, find lambda in terms of x, y, and z. So, first of all, f write down your vector equation in parametric form. So, in the previous video, I showed you how to write the vector equation of the line in parametric form but you need to write lambda or find lambda in terms of x, y, and z using your parametric equations of the line, okay? So let me just write down the method first of all. So write the vector equation of the line in parametric Form. So parametric form means um, in so as parametric equations, okay. And in particular, rearrange to get lambda in terms of x, y, and said okay so that is step number one and in step number two so there's only two stages involved in step number two is you put the coordinates of your point so your point will be in the form a b and c so you put the coordinates of your point into the equations that you have in step number one so into the equations for lambda in terms of x y and z so do the replacement of the x y and z uh, values in those equations and if the values of lambda are all the same that implies that the point lies on the line so i must stress that once you do the replacement of x y and z in these equations that you have in step number one the, the values of lambda must all be the same for the point to lie on the line. So even if one it does not match, so if one value of lambda does not match, that implies that the point does not lie on your line. So I must stress again that the values of lambda must all be the same. So they must all be equal to each other, okay? So uh, let's say uh, substitute Um, coordinates of given points into equations okay uh, for lambda so let me just say C step one so the equations arise from step number one and if values of lambda are all the same, so they must all be the same. Uh, this implies that the point lies on 
the line. So let me again stress that they must all be the same for the point to lie on your line. Okay. So uh, let's try an example. So let me show you how this method works. So in example number one, let's underline that. The question being, show that, so show that uh, the point uh, with position vector, so with position vector i plus 2j, so i plus 2j lies on the line uh, L with vector equation. So the vector equation of the line is R is equal to 4i minus j plus lambda into i minus j. Okay, I hope you can see that. So show that the point with position vector i plus 2j lies on the line L with vector equation r equals 4i minus j plus lambda into i minus j. Okay, remember step number one to prove that this point lies on the line, step number one is to write that vector equation um, in the form of parametric equations or in parametric form and then we'll rearrange using the parametric equations we'll rearrange for lambda in terms of x, y and z okay so if you know the relationship so in in one of the videos that I did previously if you know the relationship between the vector equation and the parametric equations you could write down the parametric equations uh, of the line quite quickly okay so let me remind you, so to get x, okay, x is equal to, so this is your fixed point vector, 4i minus j, the vector without that lambda alongside it. So coefficient of i is 4, so it's 4. Looking at your direction vector, so the direction vector is the vector beside the lambda, the coefficient of i is 1, so it's plus 1 lambda. So that is the equation for x, okay? And y is going to be, so looking at the j components, firstly, um, the fixed point vector. So the coefficient of j in your fixed point vector is minus 1. And looking at the coefficient of j in your direction vector, i.e. the vector alongside the lambda, coefficient is minus 1, so it's minus lambda. Okay, so these two equations for x, y in terms of the parameter, these are your parametric equations. Okay, so this is step number one. But step number one isn't finished because remember we need to rearrange to get lambda in terms of x and y in our case, so we don't have a z. Okay, so if we rearrange, so looking at equation. So let's call these equations one and two. If I take equation one, and if I rearrange for lambda, lambda will be x minus four. And if I do the same for equation two, rearranging for lambda, okay? So lambda is going to be minus one minus y, okay? So this ends step number one. So step number one is to get your parametric equations and use your parametric equations to rearrange for lambda in terms of x and y. Once you've done that, go to step number two. Step number two is to substitute your coordinates um, into these equations for lambda. And if the values of lambda are all the same, that implies that the point lies on your line, okay? So let me show you what I mean by that step. So I hope you can see that. So let me put step number two here. 
Let me copy these equations again. So the first equation being lambda is equal to x minus four. So let's copy that down here. So lambda is equal to x minus four, okay? And the other equation for lambda in terms of y, lambda is minus one minus y. So lambda is equal to minus one minus y, okay? Now, if I go back, the point given is i plus 2j. So the x-coordinate is the coefficient of i. The x-coordinate is 1. And the y-coordinate coefficient of j, y-coordinate is plus 2. Okay? So in this case, x is equal to 1, y is equal to plus 2. Okay? So just to remind us of step two, we need to substitute these coordinates, okay, into these equations for lambda, and if the values of lambda are the same, the point lies on the line. So if I put x equals one into this equation here, lambda is going to be x is one minus four, that being minus three. So this is what we have when x is one. And if I put y is equal to two into this equation here, lambda is equal to minus one, minus, and y is two, and minus one minus two is minus three. Okay? So as you can see, the values of lambda are the same. I have minus three and minus three. If the values are the same, your point lies in your line. Okay? So since lambdas are the same therefore i plus 2j lies on our line l okay so that completes uh, that example